He likes to talk about Muslims, and the Mohammedans as he calls them. One is that we're all going to be blown up by terrorists. And how they're going to kill us all and blow up uh, the U.S. Basically, just blow them up before they blow us up. And rape our women and make us slaves. No freedom for anybody. Believe exactly what I tell you. And I tell you to go out and stand with a bomb and blow yourself up. That's what you're going to do, okay? Because you will get eternal life, okay, afterwards. And all the angels will come by and kiss you and you'll have all the sex you want and all the food you want. Okay, that's what they said, okay? And these dumb, ignorant people, they don't have any concept, they'll bite into that, okay? Their life is miserable anyhow, done, so they'll bite into it. To me, human beings, human nature is, is, is the same everywhere, okay? And people respect strength and power, like it or not, you know? They don't really respect people that are just nice and wishy-washy, okay? I want to give them something. They're gonna take, they're gonna take what you got from you, and then they're gonna cut your goddamn throat if they have to, to get more. So, if you wanna compare, keep what you have and be successful, and not have people always bothering you and trying to take over your country, you gotta be strong. You gotta be tough. Okay? That's not that good. Listen, you can't allow these people to do that kind of stuff. It's like the terrorists. Okay? If they come over here and 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 like they did, and, and what about that? Empire State Building or whatever, that, the, the Trade Center. I mean, you gotta make sure that you catch as many of those guys as you can and you, you fucking get kill them. You get, you're not nice. You don't send them down to the gone town and have a little cry over them. You put the permanent hurt on them so they won't come back, okay? So people know, don't come around and try to screw around the United States and do this kind of stuff because you, they're gonna kill you. If you come in and you're nice, they're not gonna bother you, okay? But if you screw around on it, it's like my house. It's the same thing all over again. You decide that this is this is the United States. We're not going to put up with this stuff. Guys flying goddamn planes in and killing 4,000 people in the United States. That's insane. If you catch those guys, if it was me, I'd cut off their fucking balls first, then I'd trip their throat. But that's, you know, I, I'm a little bit extreme. I, I have learned things from, you know, like I said, from Newland in particular. Um, for example, there was one meeting where he was talking about, you know, I don't teach you guys to play dirty water polo, but if someone hits you, you got to hit them back because if you let them hit you, then they're just going to be on you all game, you know, and you got to let them know that that's not okay. And he made the analogy to, you know, it's just like 9-11. These terrorists come over and they attack us. So, you know, we have to go attack them back. We have to, or else they're just gonna keep doing it over and over and tragedies like that are gonna happen. And that, I mean, to me, that's a very logical argument. And I see not a whole lot of fault in it. Um, and I think that that's definitely something that I have learned, and I, I definitely didn't look at things that way before I came to water polo. Um, and just the fact that they do have more of a conservative bias at Waterpool, and I came in with a very liberal bias. It's definitely made me more open-minded, and it's allowed me to see the big picture of a lot of things. A lot of things I say, even though it's you know really one-sided or whatnot, it's important. I would be, I wouldn't be able to see like, I see a lot of the teachers who are left-leaning, but you don't see a whole lot of people who are right-leaning, more conservative. The old man is like the epitome of like conservative, like Republican. And I think that any time that you're exposed to both sides of the argument, you know, you're kind of stretched. And that it expands your point of view and that, it, that expands your knowledge and it expands um, your ability to think critically about a situation. If you can kind of pick apart what he's saying, you can get some good stuff out of it. I think it's important. I'd say, a 10. I, I, I always think that it's important to be exposed to both sides of the argument. Say like a, a so I'd say overall like a six or seven. seven. I'd say like seven or eight. Yeah, yeah, probably eight, yeah. You know, I, I think, you know, teaching is teaching, okay? And I believe in a class, in, in, in I can teach 
a lot of things besides just, you know, water polo. I can teach you a lot about business. I can teach you a lot about history. It's important in history. I can teach you a lot of things, okay? Because my players will tend to listen to what I say, okay? And so I can teach a lot of things, and I want to be able to teach my players a lot of things. And so I'm, I'm well-read, and I want them to be well-read. That's what I think.